so yeah and i wanted to touch base on this because it's something that i see and have been seeing um a little bit too much of lately it, within my own circle within people that i know personally within um just things that i'm i'm seeing personally and that is uh having a problem letting go letting go of it could be a job it can be um material possessions it can be more so a relationship and i just wanted to tell you guys that especially my ladies out there the problem why you can't let go is because for some reason you and your mind has attached this particular thing or this particular person uh, to a feeling. So say it's a relationship and you desire love. You've attached this person that you find so hard to let go. You've attached them in your mind and emotion. You've attached that person to love. And that's why it's so hard for you to let go because you believe that if you don't have this particular person that you won't be loved or you won't feel loved or you will be lonely or all of that. When the truth is, when you create love within yourself, when you become love, when you love yourself correctly, there is no one outside of you whom you seek love from. You understand? Let me say it again. When you become love, when you love yourself correctly, when you understand that you can get love from many different other places in many different forms, whether it's children if you have any, whether it be your family members, whether it be friends, whether it be other individuals, and yourself, most importantly, once you get that embedded in you, in here, in here, in your feelings, in your thoughts, in your knowing, in your being. It becomes super easy for you to walk away from people, from things, from um, just anything that doesn't serve you, that is not working for you, that is not good for you. And the problem why you find it so hard to walk away from people, walk away from relationships that aren't benefiting you, that are tearing you down actually, and that are causing you stress and, and worry and fear and pain and all this stuff is because you have not yet learned to love yourself correctly. You have not learned to attach the feeling of love to yourself and knowing that it's not a particular person that you need that from. Love is not something that you put on somebody's face and you say, okay, that, that's love and I can only get love from here. No, no, the truth is you can get love from anywhere. You can get love from anyone. You can get love from many different um, outlets in life. And most importantly, yourself. Learn self-love. Get out of any toxicity or anything that's not benefiting you. If it's causing you harm, if it's hurting you in any way, and it's not growing you, then you need to get out of it. And once you get out of it, don't go into that mind state of, oh, I'm lonely. I need somebody. No, you need you. No, you need you. You need you to love you first before you go and seek somebody else to love you because all you're going to attract is more of what you've already been getting. That's all you're going to attract. If you don't, if you leave a relationship that is toxic and you have not yet learned to love yourself, you're just going to attract that same thing back to you because you still haven't learned the lesson. So I urge you, get out of anything that is not supposed to be. All of the toxicity, any hurt, any pain, any damage. This is not just for females either. Males, men, men, women. Get out of things that are not serving you, that are not growing you, that are not reaching, uh, helping you reach your full potential, that are not helping you be the greatest version of yourself. And once you do that, do not go into another relationship right away. That's where y'all making mistakes at, jumping right from one person to another person. No, without doing any work. I'm, I'm not saying it might be a few years. It might be a few months before you get with somebody else. But if you have not done the work, 
that was needed to be done, the clearing and the cleansing, the spiritual cleansing that needed to be done, the mental healing that you needed to do. After leaving that toxicity, you will jump right back into another toxic relationship, I guarantee you. So, take the time, clear your mind, clear your heart, clear your spirit, clear your, your energy, learn self-love, what that really means, learn to love yourself fully, understand and get this in your brain, in your body, in your soul, your mind, your spirit, that it's not one particular person who you can get love from, there's so many outlets out there that you can get love from, and most importantly, yourself. And once you start to live that, believe that, and see that, then you'll be healed and you'll be cleansed and clear enough to love somebody. So when somebody comes into your life that's, that um, can be loving, then you'll be open for them to love you, to receive that. Because see, even if you went into a relationship right now without no healing... It could be somebody that came into your life to love you, but you you can self-sabotage that whole relationship because you're not where you're supposed to be. Because you aren't healed. You see, that's a whole nother subject. That's a whole nother video, y'all. But just listen to what I'm saying right here. If you're in something toxic, if you're in a toxic relationship, if you're in something that is not serving you, that is not growing you, that is not pushing you and bettering you and, and moving you forward in life, then separate yourself from it. And then once you do, do not get into another relationship right away. Take the time that is needed in order to heal, to love yourself, to truly understand what that means. And understand that it's not one in particular person that loves you or that can love you. You can get love from many different places, including yourself, most importantly. And do the work that is required inside internally to become love put in your in your mind that you are love put it in your mind that it's not anything outside of you that you lack no you're all that you need and anybody that comes into your life after that is just an addition it's just an uh, a, a cherry on top it's just a um like, like if you have on a nice outfit, you good alone. It's an accessory. It's an addition. You know, can't nobody make you happy. They can only make you happier. Can't nobody make you happy. They can only make you happier. Get that into your mind, into your soul, into your spirit. And when you move in life and when you move forward in life, after you've done the work that needed to be do, done in order to heal, you'll see how much better your next relationship will be how much freer you'll be in that relationship how much love you'll be able to receive in that relationship and how much love you'll be able to give because you've already given it to you first okay so i just wanted to share that with you all and um i hope y'all have a blessed rest of your night and a blessed weekend and a blessed rest of your week god bless bye-bye